Laura Christine, good evening. As you guys mentioned, just a few moments before our show started tonight, the LA County Sheriff's Department confirming an arrest has been made in this case, and what a vicious case it was. A very gruesome attack, and it all happened at the 7-Eleven directly behind us. Police telling us that the suspect went inside and stole something. A good Samaritan came out and offered to pay for his groceries. Well, evidently, the suspect got angry at that. He turned that request down, pulled out a hatchet, and started hacking at the man, and this was all caught on surveillance camera. You can see the camera right up there on the side of the building. We have that video tonight. We want to warn you, some of what you're about to see is very upsetting. Just after 4 a.m. Saturday morning, the door to this 7-Eleven opens, and out comes a man with a brown bag, accused of stealing. Suddenly, he pulls out a hatchet and swings at a man who offered to pay for his items. The defenseless victim goes down, but it's not over. The suspect hacks at his head over and over before he leaves him for dead, his blood all over the ground. It's very shocking. It was shocking to everybody here at our station when we did receive the video. Sergeant Jeff Bishop with the LA County Sheriff's Department tells me this kind of attack is extremely disturbing. What makes this very unique is we have a citizen trying to help a transient or a homeless person uh, help another uh, fellow citizen out and to be assaulted like this, uh, it could be anybody's family member. He says the man with the hatchet is a well-known transient in West Hollywood, and they've released photos of him to the public. His name's Kaisu Brown. Uh, he's a convicted felon. Uh, he's been in the state penitentiary uh, several times. Uh, he's considered armed and dangerous. Jake Lee has been the head of the neighborhood watch in this area for the past 10 years. He tells me he had an encounter with Kaisu Brown two months ago while out on a jog. We witnessed uh, this guy brutally attack an 80 year old man, punched him in the face, knocked him to the ground, and then picked up a house brick and lobbed it at the guy's head, said a couple racial slurs that I'm not going to repeat. And you're positive this is the same guy? I'm 110% positive. Locals say there is a major homeless problem in West Hollywood and they don't feel safe coming here after the axe attack. I'm in shock and I can't believe it. I'm, I mean, I, I have. I have firearms, and I'm afraid that if, if the next time I come here, I'm going to have to keep oh, one. Yeah, that's shocking, but I work in this area, and I walk by the 7-Eleven all the time, and yeah, it's scary. There's a lot of transients hanging out. And as for the Good Samaritan, he's now hospitalized with serious injuries. Uh, severe slashes to his uh, hands. Uh, one of his hands has been uh, incapacitated to the point where he can't use it. Uh, he's got multiple uh, hatchet marks uh, in his skull. Uh, but fortunately, he's going to survive. And we are still working with the LA County Sheriff's Department tonight to figure out exactly when and where the suspect in this case was arrested. But the good news here an arrest has been made tonight because police were telling us they were stressing. They said this man was very dangerous and they did not want anybody approaching him. As soon as we get that information on where he was arrested, if it was in fact here in West Hollywood, we'll of course bring that to you. For now, we are live in West Hollywood tonight. Bill Malugin, Fox 11 News.